guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and today I am super excited because I finally got my ColourPop order in the mail, and here it is. So excited! This is my first time ordering ColourPop, and I have seen so many swatches, I've watched so many videos, and I've written down so many shades that I wanted to buy, and I really didn't know if I was going to get on the ColourPop train. I thought, oh, you know, YouTube is just hyping it up and everybody's getting it. But honestly, I've watched so many videos. Yes, everybody's talking about it, and I can't wait to see if it's actually worth it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I see is a handwritten note, and it says, Hi, Ashley. Others like paper or scissors, but we choose to rock with you. And they wrote it with you which I love. Thank you, ColourPop. And I think that's cute that they do like a handwritten note. Um, they also give you a card talking about their lippy sticks, which I definitely got some of those. They give you a card talking about their super shock eyeshadows, which I got a lot of those. And I got one of the ultra matte lips, which they give you a card about as well. And it gets like applications and tricks and stuff, which is awesome. And then here are everything I got. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So guys, we're going to go ahead and do the Ultra Matte Lip Cream first, which is the one that I only got one of. And this is called Clueless. And I've heard some different things about these. Um, I've heard some people say that they're really nice, like people rave about them, and then other people say that they're really drying. So I just got one to test it out. And I'll do a swatch for you guys. And, ooh, I love that color. I think, again, that's a very neutral, wearable pink mauve. And it's definitely drying very quickly. So I will have to see and let you know what I think about it. But I love the color. And if I like the formula, I'm definitely going to buy more. So packaging's really pretty, very sturdy, not cheap at all. And also, if you haven't heard of ColourPop, which where have you been, but they're $5 a piece for their lipsticks and their eyeshadows, and then I think the blushes are 8 highlighters are 8 and I'm not sure, the ultra mattes might be a dollar more, they might be 6 not 5 Okay, so let's do the lippy sticks next, and it actually is kind of cool, they tell you what they are on the bottom as well. They come in different finishes, and I got quite a few as you can see, so I'm just going to start going through them. We have a lot of here, a lot to go through here. Okay, this is Grunge, and this one I got from, they came out with their fall collection, and I am super excited about this color. It's supposed to be that kind of 90s grunge look, and I'm so sorry. Things are falling behind me, let me fix this. As I was saying, grunge is supposed to be um, from their fall collection, which is the 90s, and this is oof, this is what it looks like. So I've seen so many swatch of the, swatches of this, I wasn't sure what I would think of when I finally saw it, but there it is, and it is, it's like a deep, oh no, are you freaking kidding me? Did I already break it? Pause. Okay, we still have more. I broke the first one, guys. This is not good. This is not good for the rest of this haul. I'm getting a little worried. Um, okay, there we go. Light touches, light touches. So it is a beautiful, like, dark, um, mauve brown, um, but it still has, like, a lot of pink tone in it as well. I think it's going to be a good fall shade. Granted that it doesn't break on me, so that was not pleasant, guys. I'm really disappointed I just did that. I gotta be careful, I guess. Okay, next one up is um, Flawless. And this one, I think, is just one from their regular line. Okay, next up, up we have Flawless. And this one, I think, ooh, pretty, pretty purple. And I will be very gentle this time so as not to break it. Ooh, I love that. That's going to be a perfect, I think, fall shade for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, kind of reminds me of Rebel from MAC. It's got that violet vibe, but it's dark. It's not um, too crazy. That is gorgeous. Next up is Lumiere, or Lumiere, and that is one that I believe Kathleen Lights came out with her collection. 
and I really really wanted this one this one was one that I definitely knew that I thought would be a really good neutral like a pinky um, pinky neutral and here is the swatch it is it's a nice kind of pinky purple really really nice though I think that'll be a good everyday color for me and these are extremely creamy uh, none of them have broke yet since our first incident this next one is a matte shade. This is called LBB, and it is kind of more of a, I don't know, I want to say maroon, maroon type shade. It's very, very pretty, very vibrant. It's actually quite similar to LBB, but it has more red in it, um, or sorry, Flawless. It's similar to Flawless. Flawless is more violet, and LBB is more red-based, and really gorgeous. I think those two are my favorite LBB and um, Flawless so far. Okay, last of the lippy sticks I got Contempo which is a matte. This one is also part of their fall collection that came out and again this one is kind of a pinky, looks like a pinky mauve. Um, seems like that again will be a really everyday wearable color and I like that a lot. It's actually very similar to Lumiere but it's actually really 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 nice very pink it's slightly more pinky than Lumiere but I really really like that so far so next up we will do the super shock cheek and this so this is one of their highlighters and this is in butterfly beach and I I don't know it just looked really pretty kind of looked like a rosy tone very soft very creamy do this right here and it, it's kind of a gold rose gold kind of um, like highlighter shine I really like that I think that's gonna be really nice for I just love highlighters lately and I really like the rosy gold type highlighters um, that is gorgeous again like you can really see the shine on that it is very very pretty so guys next up we are going to be doing all of the eye shades that I got and it looks like all of them made it except for one. It looks like one kind of got messed up in shipping, but that's okay. We will go through as many as we can, um, and I will do swatches for all of those. So this is what it looks like. They come in these little white packagings with the ColourPop logo on the top of it. And then on the back, it just gives you the name and the finish. Um, so this is a mixed tape, and this is a pearlized finish. And mixed tape also came from their 90s collection. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's that. Ooh, it's so pretty. It feels so good. And that's the pigment you get. And I'm going to do it on this side. Oh my gosh, that went on so nice. I love the color. It's very light. But it's a really pretty gray um, satin finish. Really, really gorgeous. I think that's going to be a good fall color. Next up is Lala and this one is a ultra metallic shade. This is what it looks like up close and we will do a swatch of this as well. Ooh, that, I mean, oh, that is so, so pretty. I love the shine on that and it's just a gorgeous kind of Again, rose gold bronzy type color. Next up is Chipper, and this is a pearlized finish. And this is such a pretty green teal. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. And it's really a unique formula. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's see, that one needs to be built up just a little bit more. But that is such a pretty green teal color and again it's just got a little bit of shimmer in it a little bit of silver shimmer really really pretty next up we have coconut and this came from their summer collection this year and this is also a pearlized finish I just thought the color looked so pretty I could not help myself so let's do another swatch for you guys oh my gosh that is such a pretty color oh my gosh I can't wait to put that on for the fall I think even though it's a summer, like I said, summer inspired shade, I feel like you could get so much good use out of that for the fall time. Next up is called So Quiche, and this one is a metallic finish. This one I saw a lot of swatches 
from other people, so I really thought that I would um, get it just because it seemed like a really unique shadow. It's definitely got a lot of like purple shimmer particles in there. It's definitely a nice dark darker shade with a lot of glitter particles. There's gold and purple glitter in there. Very, very cool. Next up is a color called Bay, and it is a metallic finish as well. And a lot of people, again, were talking about this shade. It seems like it has a cool iridescent finish to it. And I just can't get over again how creamy these things are. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is purple really really pretty Ooh. it is basically like a purple shadow with a bunch of again shimmer kind of metallic going on really really gorgeous next up we have party time which again came out in the 90s collection this one is a matte finish which I didn't get a ton of matte finishes so I'll be interested to kind of see how these turned out and I'm cleaning my swatch hand off right now because it is a little crazy. So yeah, this is again what it looks like and it is just a matte and I really like it. It's kind of like a lavender gray and I think like that's one of the reasons why I purchased it is it's such a unique, I feel like, color. Like I don't have any like lavender gray shadows. Okay guys, I had to clean off my swatch hand and we are back. This next one is I Heart This, which is so cute. It actually has the I Heart This symbol. Love it. It is um, a metallic shade and this one looks like a really pretty silver, like a silver gold almost. So let's do a nice swatch of that. It is really, um, really light. I thought it would be a lot darker but it actually has a ton of glitter particles. I see gold and silver. So, woo, there we go. I heart this. This is the one that broke, so I'm a little disappointed about this one. Um, I think it's actually one of the ones that I thought would be really cool. This is Nillionaire. Um, this is metallic. I think this came out, I want to say, in the summer too. So this is what it looks like broken. I'll see what we can do. Um, it's still pretty creamy. I don't know if we can maybe just press it together. Would that work? Um, okay. This is the swatch. Dang. Well, it looks nice. I mean, if we can get it to work, wow. That is gorgeous. Super, super glittery, shimmery, bronzy gold. Bang. That is a really, really nice color. Next one up came from the summer collection. This is called Shark Attack. And this is a pearlized finish. And I just thought... It is super pretty. It's got that orangey, um, kind of burnt orange. It's got, I think, some even um, gold glitter particles as well. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty. I'm super excited about that one. Very, very pretty burnt orangey type color. Next up is a beautiful copper color, and this is called Game Face. This is also an ultra metallic color. Here is what it looks like. And swatched. Oh, this one's super, super creamy. Oh my gosh, look at that pigment. That is gorgeous, and it is just a straight up shimmer copper metallic color. Okay guys, we are on our last one and this is called Sugar and it is a metallic shade. I saw this one swatched and I thought it was really, really pretty as well and it's just like a blue, um, a light kind of baby blue color but really pretty again. Um, it comes off really, really light. I thought this would be a lot darker. You guess you can build this one up a little bit because it's actually starting to look really nice. So that's what it looks like. You can kind of see it's got that light baby blue, very metallic-y. Um, to be honest, I think Millionaire and Game Face were some of the best shades um, that I think are the pigment-wise is, is worth getting. They are super, super glittery, so I'm sure they're going to have a lot of fallout, though. Um, I really, really like Shark Attack. I think that's a unique color. Oops. And I really, really liked um, 
the coconut blue and also the chipper which is like the metallic teal that those were really pretty I'm just super excited to try them out again this is just an unboxing first impressions because I have no idea how these are actually gonna go in application but I've heard a lot of good things there's tons of other videos if you want to watch them you can search them people have done videos on ColourPop but so far I'm really excited and I think I'm gonna purchase on Monday they come out with the freshman from the 90s I think collection and I think I'm going to get those as well because they are just really, really cool shades and really fun finishes. The finish is very unique to me. A lot of people describe it as gel-like, but it's it's just a really creamy, soft pigment. Um, and again, a lot of people say applying them with your finger works, so we will see. Um, little duchess in the background. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of ColourPop. Is there any shadows or um, lippies that you personally like that are worthwhile or that you have? I'm definitely open to looking for new things to try. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you in the comments below.